know what they're saying, and you know what it means. That fool equals you, fool. That fool equals you. Washed up good and high on the ground. I like wire. I like tension. I like explosive. I like fidelity on a green and faithless planet. Still, it seems a poet's job to hymn the simple excellence of everything that takes up space. But before you wake up and smell the coffee, you have to get up and make it. Just another one of life's little irritating ironies. And here's me, with my terrible brain disease and everything. A bladder full of gall, 15 separate vultures in my living room, and the radio picks up nothing but the voices of the legions of the damaged and or disconnected, with demented cover versions of the songs from South Pacific. I was walking in the shell of a bombed out jigsaw factory, and of the scattered pieces I saw someone had nicked all the ones with straight edges, but there was time to kill. And I sat an unsystematic hour playing Join the Fragments, hoping for a tree, a stretch of railings on a bridge, or just an unassuming patch of sky. And what I made was glimpses of a city, where all streets are the same street, and none of them lead anywhere you'd be in much of a hurry to leave, where breathing leaves a taste of rust and tenement glare, automobile mirage and deep pink dusks over the river. Where healthy-minded youths washed untamed hair in the spray of a hundred fountains and the noise of sky-powered sound machines, no walking on the grass. If you've half a mind to skip and cartwheel down the streets of badly thumbed and pornographic records you can listen to and never have to breathe or sleep again. Under the high on a pedestal of old bronze gaze of old school earls and seekers after landfalls barely dreamed of, offbeat cynics, spelled with a capital C, performed compressed and faintly textured poetries of love and mild derangement, singing, this is the law of jealousies, this is the law of forbidden fruit, this is not the happy ending that you seem to think it is. The people laugh and order coffee, settle down to watch the tourists wrestle with the concept of being somewhere strange, as if they thought that home was not the strangest place of all. And it's always late and sunny afternoon, except for sometimes, drenched in streetlight orange, you stand dead centre of a shining wet, deserted four-lane ring road curving silently on towards 3am. The city sleeps behind our attractive curtains. Everything is up. On the concrete of flyovers, and faintly on the forecourts of cold forgotten garages, they've been writing three foot high, stuff like this, other people's dreams, the world's most tedious thing. Say nothing. Just slouch carefully away, 